Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm setting up my 130 gallon tank for my axolotl Darwin. He's currently in this 55 gallon tank up here. Um, there he is. And I did a video in the past that I was doing a landscape, a DIY landscape that was going to be above water to hold a bunch of tropical plants. I'm going to be setting that up. I, I need to uh, let the concrete or grout that I'm going to use leach out for a while before I actually um, set it in the tank with the axolotls. So uh, I'm just going to set this tank up with this sand it for the meantime and I'm gonna put a bunch of rocks in to landscape it so I'll show you guys along the way as I set this tank up so this is the sand I'm using I got it in I got three of these 55 pound bags of sand it's just play sand for kids you know what you would use in a sandbox but uh, this stuff's sterilized so I'm not too worried ab about doing too many water changes before I use it I'm, I'm just going to probably do one solid water change after I make the water all cloudy with the sand and then uh, refill it and that'll probably be what I do. Alright guys, so this is the first end. I've started to put in some rocks. I've got these flat sides with the sand mounted up into the corner in the back and I'm going to be putting this big piece of rock up top as a, a bit of a cave just like I had in the last tank. So I've got this piece here to create the support on this side, and then I'm going to be sliding this into the sand there, and just like that. So I'll have a bit more sand mounted up in the back there to cover the edge of the shale, the, the big flat rock, and then I'll be digging out a little bit of a tunnel on this end, and then I'll be moving on to the other end. So now I've mounted up some dirt, or some sand behind these rocks in the opposite end, as you can see, the other caves over there, and I'm going to take this piece right here and just slide it on top. Another cave for Darwin to get away from the light. And then I'll just slide all this sand back over just to kind of hide the back edge of the rock, fill everything in. So now we have two rock caves in the tank, one at either end. And I'm going to add a dish right in the center here. And I really like this dish, it kind of blends in with the color of the sand really well when you mound it up against the edges. Looks really nice. So now I've put all the rocks in, done the hardscape. So I'm probably going to give this thing a full fill and let it sit for a few hours and then do a water change. And then I'll probably start putting plants in before I get Darwin in here. Alright, so I'm just about halfway done my first fill. And I just wanted to tell you guys about a few things that I made decisions on. Like, the background, it's all black. Those are all black poster boards that I bought at Walmart. Each of them were less than a dollar. I had three of them and I had to cut one end off. But that was it. And then the sand, that play sand, like I said, sterilized. So it's clean already. It doesn't have any pathogens or anything that's going to hurt my axolotl, but I bought that at Rona. It's a building supply center, and you know, you can go to places like that. I got three 55-pound bags of this sand for 20 bucks. I couldn't get that at any pet store for that price, and I like the color of this sand better. It's a lot lighter rather than the dark stuff that I found at the pet store, and I mean, I would have spent twice as much money for, like, an eighth of what I bought. So that's that. And this is all coming out a lot clearer than I expected it to. It's not nearly as murky as I thought it would be doing this first fill. 
so I'm gonna just end up doing like about a half water change and then I'm gonna probably throw Darwin in here tomorrow after I've let it sit overnight and then I'll have some all some more plants going in here as well in the meantime all right so I've let the tank sit overnight and the water's all cleared up and I'm now siphoning water from uh, Darwin's 55 into the 130 and I've put his decorations, his plants and his piece of wood here into the tank and my the moss ball here and I'm just letting his tank water mix with this water so that I can uh, make sure the water's completely ready for him the chlorine's had a, enough time to dissipate out of the water and it's ready for him and I'll be getting him out of here as the water lowers a little bit and I'll show you once he's in his new tank all right so I got Darwin down here in a bucket and I'm gonna l release him into his new tank He'll probably be a little upset for a little while, but I'm sure he'll appreciate this, or she will appreciate the space once she gets used to the new setup. So I gotta deal with these plants a little bit and set up a pump and I'll show you the finished tank. Alright guys, so I'm done setting up Darman's new tank, and I just ended up putting all the roots of these Anubias into the gaps in the piece of wood like I was saying I didn't actually tie it on with anything and it's holding on there nicely the water's looking a little murky right now because I was adding all these rocks around the dish here and I was putting that rock in but despite the murky water Darwin has been very active since he's been in this tank been really happy with it actually her tank but uh, every time I've moved Darwin from tank to tank, she's been really, really uh, depressed almost, like for multiple days, like almost a week the first time I changed tanks. And this time within the day, it was time to move around and enjoy the space. So that's Darwin's new 130-gallon tank. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, guys.